Good morning. It's Thursday, September the 17th, 2015. It's about 8 o'clock. This is a special day. It's Larry's birthday. He's 71 today. So, But the first thing we have to do is go down and, and check the snares and see if we've got any alligators. He's anxious to get down there in case it rains, because if it rains, you can't go out on the dikes. Larry said he wanted a white cake with coconut icing for his birthday, so that's what I made him. I made the cake last night and then iced it this morning. Uh, Bilo had coconut cakes, but they didn't have any. It was, they were all yellow, so I just went ahead and made it. And that's uh, cream cheese frosting under the coconut, so I think he'll like it. Well, that same big one from yesterday. snare's knocked over, but we didn't catch anything. They're still out there in the water looking at it. Deer ain't Whoa! <laughs> All right. It looks like it might have been one. Just leave it like that? Or yeah. we're gonna, you want to close it up? Huh? You want to close, close it? Yeah, close it because they'll get in it. The gator we caught. I don't think that's the same one, though. It might be. There's a gator. A of... uh, he's more, uh, I think he's more eight foot, maybe. Don't let him pull you in. Yeah, I'm not. See the cable's in the way now. Can you slack up on the cable, the rope a little bit? Not really. That's all I got. Okay. Tighten it. So I can't get around his neck. Cable's in the way. It's just going to slip off his snout. It always does. So I hold on to him tight now. I can't hold much more. Let him go. I don't want to lose my. You won't lose it. Yeah, if it comes loose. I got him. Yep. Can't shoot in front of the head. You can go up there by Lauren. You can come up here. Well, I want to get right on him. Well, you don't have to be oh, that close. We're gonna have to get down in the mud and play with them to do that. Well, we can do that. Oh, 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 oh! All right, I got the pole. Well, don't worry about the pole. It ain't gonna lose it. You want me to bring him up here, though? I got the pole. I can bring him up here. You don't want him up too I think close. The pole's gonna come off. Just let him. Wait till he stops again. I gotta get his head up. Uh oh. All right, hold. He'll stop in a minute. If you can hold it. Okay. Just let him sit still. Nope. That's when he'll stay there. It's hard to get him. I can bring him a little closer in the mud. It ain't closer, I gotta get behind his head. I don't wanna come up just a little bit. Now, you can't get him right, can you? Pull right there. there.
he's not dead. I gotta get rid of his brain. Let me pull him a little closer now that he's intoxicated and you can shoot him a little bit. Just knocked out right now. Whatever. You need more slack? In the rope? I can't get him up this hill. <coughs> huh? Just lay it down for a minute. You want you want Ronald shooting? Yeah, you can shoot him if you want, but uh, I'd say you can. Get, I can get behind him from over there. Okay. Okay. Now he's dead. Continue. Now we can figure out what we gotta do to get him up here. <laughs> hmm? This is where the hard part comes in. You gotta get him in the truck. Have to measure, see what size he is. Try the other way. Through the pole. Are you going to take a snare off? A snare, yeah. Think this is the one we saw over there yesterday? Huh? You think that's the one we saw over there when we drove by yesterday? Yeah. Because I don't see the other one. Well, it could be, it could not be, but I think it is. Maybe. I guess let's put the plywood on it. You I'm watch it, make sure you don't get away. Okay, I'll grab the pole if he runs. Psych. <laughs> You're on gator, watch. I still think we need to winch before we do this again. Can you straighten him up? That's what I was working on. I mean, I want to get a measurement. Oh. Alligators, huh? eight foot three inches long. Can you see? Not yet. He's up in the gas. It's going to be hard to get the catch pole on him. Huh? It's going to be hard to get the catch pole on him nah. without him coming up yeah. after you. He might be dead. Well, I hope not. I need to stop. He's got a bunch of crap piled up on him. Yeah, I 
Can you see how big he is? Huh? Can you see how big he is? No. I don't even see him yet. I'm not telling. I think he's right there. Keep pulling. I'm trying to pull him that way. Be careful. See him. Is he alive? Yeah. Yeah. This kind of thing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He looks pretty big. Oh, yeah. He's seven. Huh? He's seven. Well, it's up to you. You want to keep, keep him? I mean, it's that much for the less we don't have to worry about. Because you might not get a. Well, that's good. His head's away from it, then. You get the pole. <laughs> you don't need the pole. What do you, are we going to decide? If you think he's over seven, shoot him. If you think he's left, let him go. Yeah, he's over there. So, I mean, he's worth keeping. Okay. I'm glad the grass was back there, not out of there. Yeah, oh man. Yeah. That was a long one. We got two of them. <laughs> Just don't count him dead yet. Alright, we're trying to clear some of this grass. Yeah. You want a knife? We right. got a knife. Don't cut the alligator. Huh? I hope he's got another snare on him. See, that's the problem. Oh, you hope you got two snares? Yeah, for this. You want to shoot him again? I want to get him closer. Well, I can get him. It looked like a good shot. Dead now. How do you get so much freaking grass on it? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Crap. Did you want you got your knife? He's fighting for his life. <clears throat> so this was the very first snare that we sent yesterday. So we caught one in the first and the third, but the second one's the one that didn't have anything. <coughs> oh, the rope's all wrapped around. Set it again there. I think it's probably a good place to set it anyway, isn't it? Probably, I think so. Looks like a, mm -hmm. a good producer. Yeah. I really appreciate getting rid of some of that grass. <laughs> Another decent sized one. Mm -hmm.
one second. Alright, you ready? Just take me. Right. You'll be able to pull him up the plywood, will you? Or you roll the other one off and pull it down. We'll be able to get him up there. We'll lift him. I'm filming with my eyes shut. Okay. How long is he? It? Uh, it's 103 inches. How many feet? Eight. Let's see, eight feet, one, two, three, four, five, eight six, feet, six seven. inches. He's, seven about, inches. he's about eight, eight. Well, he's bigger than the other one there. Yeah. Longer. What were you saying about those baby alligators last night? They were this year's hatchlings, because they was only about a foot long. So they were born about a month ago, around uh, July, August. Mm -hmm. And the mother will stay with little babies for about two years. And they try to lay the eggs away from the bigger ones, because they know the bigger ones is going to come eat them. Yeah. We gather here first. Just, just the one leg would be fine to start with. You want me to hold the pole? Huh? Close the snare. I close it. Okay. That's why I break the garbage bag. If everybody do that, you wouldn't have trash on the river. Now I'm picking trash up with all the paper towels. <laughs> Bloody trap. Mm -hmm. Huh? Now he's cleaning the alligators off. That's the first step. Okay. Well, um, Letting the blood drain out. That's fine. You already clean the back saw. You can put that down there. You have to <laughs> check the snout vent. See if it's called a snout vent. Uh, kind of all scarred up. <laughs> bring a real good thing. But anyway. Look at it. Oh. Or gray. Yeah. Maybe maybe he's old and gray. Black. No, it ain't that. I don't know if it's all that mud in it all the time, or if it's mercury or what it is. I've never seen one like that. Let me back up. Yeah, that one. That one's black. And that one's gray or silver. Silver or gray? Black. There's our ice coming. Where are we going? On the table. They um. Just set his head on there and then I'll grab his back foot. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Set him back truck. Got him? Yeah. It's a baby one. Ice on them because we're leaving them overnight to be skin tomorrow. Keep them good and cold. Alright, put the tags on them. 
when you put that tag in, you twist the knife back and forth and it gets oh, that's all right. I don't need I just do this one down here. Yeah, and then it turns. There you go. Won't have to do anything with the alligators till tomorrow. They're there in the air conditioning with the ice to keep them cool and then tomorrow they'll be able to skin them. Well, the baby watermelons were a casualty of having them put the part of the truck in the right place. There goes the birthday boy into Zaxby's. Gonna get some chicken for our lunch. Some chicken strips. We had a gonna get a big snack. A Zax snack meal and share it. We're here at Ted and Barbara's and Larry's cutting down some fruit trees for him. That's the apple tree he's cutting up now. And he's got a pear and an orange, I think, already. I've been uh, sitting in the house talking to Barbara, so I just filmed what Larry did. That over there was a plum tree. He cut it, and the apple tree is gone. A little pile, that little pile of limbs there for the apples. Little logs for Ronald. And then he did a little bit on that pear tree right there. And he's got a little orange tree up here he's cutting. And here's the wood he got for Ronald. Ronald have to come pick it up. We're back at the huge tree and Larry's going to cut just a little bit. Run the gas out of the chainsaw is what he said. At least he's wearing his back brace today. I guess he's doing what he likes on his birthday. It's 10 till 3 and we're quitting. We just got one row. But Larry said it meant it wasn't a wasted trip since this tree is close to where Ted lives. So, just a little bit of time. Well, here we are at Duke's Barbecue for Larry's birthday supper. Stephanie and Riley and the kids will be coming shortly. Oh, okay. You did that by yourself? Uh -huh. Boy. Oh, on the back too? Well, you're right. You're good. Well, thank you. This is Larry's birthday presents. He got a bag of candy from Tammy. He's got cho milk chocolate ra covered raisins, malted milk balls, and Tootsie Pops. All things that he likes. And Steffi and Ronald and Haley and Emma got him two shirts. They're pretty. St. John's Bay. And he got a birthday card from them. That's nice. And Haley made him a birthday card. It says, Grandpa Love. And she colored it all. And it says, Happy Birthday, Grandpa. And that's a birthday card that I got, Larry. It's 7.10 and I thought I'd film the sunset. I can go ahead and say, Good night all. God bless. But I think I'll have another little clip after this because we haven't uh, done Larry's birthday cake yet. So it might have that. But I think he had a pretty good day. He got to do his favorite things. Catch alligators and cut wood. Plus eat out and get presents. So I think he's happy with his day. Okay, make a wish and blow out your candle. I could have put 71 on there, but I don't think the cake's big enough. I did it. All right. Hope it comes true. Oh, but you got it all blown out in one puff. I'm still full of air. <laughs> yeah. Now it's cut. Got a piece out for him. He's got his coffee heating up. We'll see how it comes out.